Hi, this is Mike. A uh, friend of mine just asked about um, menus in WordPress and um, how to create a landing page such that the, um, th the page doesn't appear in the menu on a WordPress site. Um, so let's just have a look at the, uh, the front of one of my sites here. You can see across the top here you've got a very simple menu, just my courses, a membership option page, a login welcome page and a blog. So just three items there. Um, and this is WordPress, so there's a dashboard. The menu is controlled underneath the Appearances tab on the left hand side there. So um, uncollapse your menu, look under Appearance and Menus. And one of the things to look out for is a setting. Um, let's see, this automatically add new top level pages to this menu. You want to make sure that this is not selected because if it is selected and you create a new page, like that, obviously that's going to be added to the menu. So, uh, so we don't want that. So the first thing is just make sure that that's not selected. Okay, and the, uh, the next thing is um, understanding how the menu structure actually works. So um, let's just have a look at the primary menu up here. Now depending on your theme you may have more options here. Um, yep, I'm just going to change this here. So right, so this is the, the primary menu that ref reflects what's seen up here. Okay, so this is really easy to uh, to modify. So I can move things around here. I can change the indenting. I can put this as a submenu item here, here, or here, or over here, or not as a submenu item there. So if I if I if I do this, um, then that item is going to end up over here. So let's just have a look at that. Let's save that. I'm going to fix this up again in a moment. And if I refresh this page, this my courses should end up over here. You see, so so managing the menu items is really really simple. It's just a drag and drop thing, there like that. Okay, so I'll just save that again. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a landing page, and I don't want it to have a um, a menu item up here. So um, the first thing, of course, is to make sure this is not selected. This automatically add new top level pages. Um, and I'm going to create a new page. New page here. I'm going to call it a landing page. Yep. Uh, landing page. Call it whatever you like. But whatever the title is here is going to end up being part of the permalink. And that's the link that you're going to send people. So you might want to make this um, meaningful. So you might say, um, for example, September, oops, uh, September um, offer. Okay, so because it's, it's, if it's for a business, this might be the September offer. Now, I'm going to uh, just, you know, publish this to save it, if you like. Um, and um, now, what's going to happen is if I refresh this front page nothing's going to happen. This menu is not going to change at all because I've deselected that item that I said before. Okay, so uh, so the main thing about um, a landing page is the URL. Make sure that it, it's it's something that you're happy to to share and, and, uh, and, and is easy to share. No odd characters, not too long and meaningful. And then down here obviously you put your content as you would any other page. Okay, so uh, uh, that's all there is to it. Now, the, the link is referred to as the as the permalink here. Now, uh, in WordPress, you can view this page, which I'll just do. I'll just uh, open this up in a new tab here. Okay, so that's what the page looks like. Okay, um, going back here now, you can also get a short link for this page. For this page. Okay, so what that means is, as you can see, there's a short link there. It's not as um, um, as user-friendly, but it might be necessary if you're sharing the link in something like Twitter, for example. Okay, that would be creating a new page. 
um, as a landing page without it appearing on the menu. Just uh, to finish that off, if you ever need to create a title for a page and you need the URL to be different from that title, um, so you can directly l edit this however you like, as long as this URL is not the same as any other URL page, page URL on your site, so you can do that. Okay, um, one other thing, if for some reason you actually do want there to be a menu item for this page at some stage in the future, maybe you've got a whole bunch of um, landing pages and you want a menu for those, then if you go back to the, the menu again, let's see, bring that up, yep, okay, so um, most recent here, the most recent pages or view all pages, and you can see that that, that page now is uh, available in all the pages that we've got, and I can just press this button here and that will add it to the menu, and I can just put that wherever I want it to be, like that, if I want to, okay, so if I save that menu there, uh, and then go back to my, well, either my home page or this landing page. So this is my home page here. So if I just refresh that page, um, it won't be really visible, but you'll see that there's a down arrow now here. So that's my new page. If I have had done that accidentally and I want to remove that, then all I need to do is uh, just, uh, remove that. Okay, and all I'm doing, I'm not deleting the page, I'm just uh, removing the link to that page. Save that menu item, and, um, okay, so if I refresh this page, that should disappear, that menu item, and it just goes back to being that top level item there. And there you have it. Landing pages, and a quick intro to um, how menus work in WordPress. Thanks very much.